Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things sustainable, consumer conscious and eco-friendly. Today on the channel I continue the Christmas series where I talk about how to have a low waste, low impact, more conscious Christmas. Last time's episode that's coming up on the cards right now was about what I am going to get for my toddler to put in his stocking and this time I'm going to focus on me. So today's video is about what I as a lady who is trying to lead a zero waste, low impact, low waste life would like to get in her stocking. Hint, hint, husband. So I'm going to show you a lot of things that I would like to have in my stockings. I don't expect to have them all or I don't suggest that you go and buy them all. Those are just suggestions that I'm making for you so you can make better choices for yourself. The reason why I wanted to do stockings this year is because every time I have gotten stockings in the past or every time I see videos on stockings, they are just full of junk, junk items that are packaged in plastic or are plastic that are going to be unusable in just a couple of months time or even after a few days. So I want to focus on items that are long term, that are thoughtful and that are low waste as much as possible. So here are 15 things that I would like to get in my low waste stocking. Let's start off with some unconventional stocking stuffers. Then I will go into the more regular normal type stocking stuffers. My first suggestion for a stocking stuffer, and I would love to have this in my stocking, Swedish stockings. Swedish stockings is a great company that produces stockings from like recycled nylon and they are very conscious with how they produce things. They actually have a program where you can ship to them any three pairs of your old stockings from any company and they will reuse them. So it's awesome. This, uh, while it is plastic packaged on the inside, it is cardboard on the outside and they are really good quality. I have a couple already and they just uh, fit really well. They're not too tight. They are designed with women's bodies in mind. So I highly, highly recommend this as a stocking stuffer. Next up, and you're probably tired of me talking about it, is the stainless steel razor. If your lady is uh, someone who shaves, so this is a great little gift. It doesn't have to be by this brand. I'll link everything that I'm talking about down below and some different suggestions. This particular stainless steel razor has a bamboo handle, but there are completely stainless steel ones around and they are just amazing. Can I like express my full love for this for a second? You have absolutely zero waste. Everything is recyclable or fixable and the shave is so close. You have to have a little bit of a skill, so it takes a while to get used to it. But once you do get the skill of shaving with stainless steel razor, you will never go back to a regular plastic razor. I love them so much. They can range from really reasonably priced to really expensive. So you just choose for your budget. The next suggestion that I have, and this is something that I would love to get in my stocking, is Organic Basics socks. Um, you can buy them on the website and they just look really nice. Yes, they're just pure black or pure gray socks. They are made very consciously and uh, they just look really cool. I don't have anything by Organic Basics yet, but I have heard nothing but good things about the brand, so I would really love to have some socks in my stockings that are made by this brand. The next couple of things are probably also really unconventional. And the first one is, is the Zao makeup lipstick. They all come in these reusable cotton pouches. I'm not sure what they could be reused for, but they are cotton. They're actually refillable. So you can open it up and take this part off, refill it with a different color even, and put this back on. Of course, it's always a gamble when you're getting lipstick from someone else, but uh, you can never go wrong with red. The next unconventional thing, and it's also kind of makeup related, are products by Kyer Weiss. So I've got two here. One, again, is a lipstick. And again, they are completely refillable and they come in these stainless steel packages and beautiful red boxes. So it's very Christmassy. And the next one is either refills or new Kyer Weiss mascara. I've been using this for two months now. I love it. 
It's so good. It is refillable as well. It's a fantastic formula. The brush, they have two brushes, the volume and the length brush. It is really good mascara, you guys. And it comes off so easily. It stays on, but it comes off with just water. Love it. The next category I'm gonna be focusing on is really like secondhand, slightly luxury, but nice things. So these things are not cheap whatsoever. As you probably know, I'm a huge fan of Vestier Collective, and I have gotten into actually buying jewelry from Vestier Collective. So for example, these earrings came from Vestier Collective. They are gorgeous. They would be amazing for Christmas dinner or even New Year's dinner. And you know, you are buying something that somebody doesn't want anymore. It is used, yes, but it's in fantastic condition. If you've ever gotten anything from Vestier Collective from direct shipping, you probably know that it comes with a little note that says, by buying this garment or by buying this item, you're extending its life. And if you are reusing the same item for at least nine months more, you are reducing that item's carbon footprint by 20 to 30%. So I'm into that. So let's get some used stuff, you guys. The next thing that I would love to have from Vestier Collective in my stocking is a pair of nice gloves. So here I am scrolling through Vestier Collective with some of the filters I've put in. I would like some nice black long leather gloves. And um, these are the choices that I have. And I can direct whoever is stuffing my stocking to this website and show them my list and they can choose themselves. You have to order this very quickly though, because Vestier Collective does first alert the seller. So it can take a few weeks even to get your item. So if you are thinking about Vestier Collective as a stocking stuffer or even as a gift, you have to act now. Another thing that I would love to have in my stocking is a silk scarf, a luxury silk, silk scarf or just a regular silk scarf. I love silk scarves. I put them around my bags or in my hair. There's lots of choice. So the choices here are either to go to a vintage shop. They usually have silk scarves or again, go onto the Vestier Collective website and see what's there. Again, I'd like to remind you, I'm not being sponsored by Vestier Collective. I just love them so much. So here I'm scrolling through the screen on Vestier Collective again for silk scarves. And as you can see, you can go from really, really expensive brand name silk scarves to just regular silk scarves that are not that super expensive. And again, you can judge by your budget. The next thing that I would love to have in my stocking, it is not super zero waste, but I would use it for a really, really long time. And it is a thoughtful gift. And that would be a milk frother. I love having a latte in the morning. So a milk frother would be a really, really nice, thoughtful stocking stuffer for someone who is a milk coffee drinker. No, it's not zero waste. It is uh, half plastic, half stainless steel, but ideally this is a gift that is not gonna be just like eaten or thrown away. Um, it is something that the person getting it would be using for a while. The next item that I would love to get in my stocking that I have talked about in my previous video is not like a little super normal, but I guess it's normal, is stasher bags. I am not using any Ziploc bags in my kitchen, but I need something to replace them. So stasher bags is an alternative that I would love to get in my stocking. Speaking of complete zero waste, here are a few items that I would like to have in my stocking as a zero waste lady. These are cotton rounds for taking off my makeup, silk floss, for obvious reasons, a bamboo toothbrush. Again, I will never stop talking about these. I absolutely love them. They are beautiful in their simplicity and you can get different colors if you want. You just have to make sure that you are getting the ones that are plastic free because sometimes for some reason they package these in plastic. And of course, some tooth powder. I love this tooth powder. It leaves my teeth feeling really clean and I prefer it to the natural toothpaste, which I find disgusting. The next zero waste item that I would love to have in my stocking is a soap pouch. This zero waste soap pouch is made from sisal. 
and I really, really like it. You put your soap in it and scrub yourself clean. The next couple of items are, they, these are just different versions of the same item and this is deodorant. I like this natural deodorant that I got in the local shop here. It's based with coconut oil and shea butter, so it's a very common recipe that is used by zero wasters. Most people don't like it. I actually really like it. It stops me from stinking. It doesn't stop me from sweating because it is deodorant, not antiperspirant, and you're not supposed to be doing that anyway. So I like this. Another version of deodorant is this Ben and Anna deodorant. This is a push-up stick and it comes in paper packaging completely. So I would love to get this with different smells in them. This one is vanilla orchid, but there are no smell ones and there are different fragrances as well. Another item that is interesting is essential oils. If your lady is into essential oils, get her some of the really expensive ones like rosehip oil, argan oil, or geranium oil, or any oils that you know she likes because this is a really thoughtful and tiny stocking stuffer. More conventional item I guess to have as a present at Christmas is a candle but you can opt for zero waste candles so yes this one has a plastic cap but it is completely glass otherwise and it's made from soy wax which I'm not so crazy about but it smells really really good I got this from a local shop so again supporting local economy is always good another item that I would love to have as a zero waste girl in my zero waste stocking would be vintage ornaments so you can get these online or in vintage shops and they're just so beautiful and they're made of glass and you're giving new life to this thing that otherwise could have been thrown away so i really like the idea of getting a vintage ornament something to put up on the christmas tree on christmas day it's just so lovely and thoughtful and you can think about that special gift for years to come and it'll be with you for years to come and lastly, this is something a little more expensive, but it is small. I'm a huge fan of this YouTuber and she has just launched um, jewelry line and I would love to have some necklaces or some earrings from this line. It's all made sustainably. It's all made to order from sustainable sources and thoughtful design. So if you're someone who can afford to spend a little more on a stocking stuffer, or this could even be a gift, I would highly, highly recommend to um, get something thoughtful that is jewelry to put in your lady's stocking. So I hope you really enjoyed these ideas for stocking stuffers for ladies who are perhaps into low impact, low waste, zero waste, consumer conscious kind of production of gifts. Most of these gifts I have already purchased for myself, not as gifts, just for things that I'm using, but I would love to have all of them again in my stocking if I had a chance. So do consider them if you are stuffing somebody's stocking, not all of them, some of them are really expensive. I hope you really enjoyed this video and I hope you're gonna take these ideas and make them happen for your Christmas in order to have a more conscious, less consumer oriented, more thoughtful Christmas this year. Next time I'm doing another stocking and it's going to be for men. Men are notoriously difficult to shop for. So I'm going to show you my ideas on what to stuff their stockings with in terms of low waste or zero waste items. So come back next week. Thank you for watching. See you next time.